Hey guys, welcome back to Life on the Eddie Family Farm. So, today I found our brush. So, what I'm going to try to do, um, Stevie's right beside me, so I really should do her first. But I'm going to go try to get Juliet first, or maybe even Romeo, and just kind of brush them out. I know. It's still kind of cold every so often, but mostly it's not. Mostly it's um, it's been pretty warm. It was in the 50s this week, but it's gonna be back in the 70s. And so even with their just normal hair, even if I brush them out and get all that winter hair gone, they're gonna be warm enough to actually um, be in the cold that we do get every so often it is spring and like we were saying the other day is there is three seasons in a day in Oklahoma we have winter like yesterday it snowed in the morning and then we got summer by like even like where we were taking our jackets off and then by the evening time um, like mm, seven eight ish it's more like spring and then goes to winter it's been it, it's that's why everybody's noses are all like you know and everything so all right we are going to start hopefully with Romeo right here I'm gonna set this camera back and just kind of get see if I can get him getting brushed all right so we're gonna try this I'm gonna go up to him real easy because Romeo is more the one that is more skittish and stuff because he has become kind of more rowdy and stuff. So I'm just gonna kind of pet on him and love on him first. Hi, how are you? You wanna see this? Come here, Romeo. Come here, babe. I'm gonna show you. Look, good boy. Good boy, you wanna smell it? Look, yeah. Don't, don't try to bite it. It'll hurt. It's metal. Here. Come here, boy. Come here. Good boy. See? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just one strand. I figured he would be the harder one to do anything with, but since he was closest to me, Julia, I mean, Stevie was on the other side, so we're, we're going to try it another time. Hey, bud. Yeah. Come here. I just want to give you a back scratch. Come here. Hi. That's a good boy. Oh, he doesn't like it. So we will work on him. How about you, Cinderella? Come. Or right, Dixie, I seen you. Come here. Come here, Dixie girl. Come here. Come here, babe. That's a good girl. Yes, her is. So we can do you. You want to get all that hair off you? That feels good, huh? That's like a back scratch. I needed this yesterday. Yeah. That's a good girl. Yes, her is. Got to be easy over here. But she is getting quite a bit of hair over here where that leg was. Yeah. What about you? You really need it. You got some stick tats going on. That's a good girl. It's not really for the stick tights, but I mean, it did get some out. Come here, Dix. Come here, sis. Hi. There. You're going to be so clean. you be cooled off when it gets really, really hot. <laughs> she didn't have a whole lot. I think it's Juliet or maybe it was Stevie that really needs it. Come here, little Ann. Come here, little Ann. Yeah, you really need it. Come here. Good girl. That's my Dixie girl. That's my Dixie girl. Yes, there he is. Lynn. Come here. Look. Get that belly. Oh, there's the master right there. He's got some hair now. But Toby and Dixie, that's one thing different that they, even from when they were little pups, Dixie never really had this fullness to her hair. She's always had like a lay down. 
and that's just how she is now i mean she's still beautiful but that's just the difference between her and him Ooh, that feels so good huh tobe good boy oh yeah Oh yeah. Is little Ann playing with you? Good boy. How are you doing today? You wanna to tell everybody hi? Let's turn around, let's say hi. Turn that booty, turn that booty. Oh yeah, we got more coming out of the backside. Good boy. Look, you're so good. You like the massage, don't you? Look at all that. Look at all that. You're so hairy. Yeah, you're so hairy. Might not get all the stick tights, but it does get all that extra hair. There. What do you think about that? Hmm? And all these burrs in you. <laughs> He's like laying on me. If I was to move, he'd probably fall. <laughs> That's a good boy. He likes the he likes the spa day. Don't you? You gonna lay down for me now? Huh? You gonna lay down for me now? Huh? Oh. It's just so fun doing him. He's so relaxed and I mean Dixie is too. She just didn't have really any hair, any extra hair. Good boy. Yes. Him's a good boy. Was this an itchy spot? Huh? Is that an itchy spot? <laughs> Huh. Get all that extra hair so you can be warm. Yes, that's a good boy. Well, Ann, I want to get you. Come here. Hip up. Hip up, 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 up. Look at her. Come here. Come here. Oh, come here. You're all right. You're all right. Oh, Dad's like, get me. I want it. Good girl. <laughs> this is a good girl. It's so nice outside. Look. Oh, that's a good girl. This is a good girl. Yes, you is a good girl. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we're getting some of those, some of those, um, whatever they're called. Good girl, yeah. Get those out of there. All right, they're not, I'm going to have to have a different comb for that. Because they're, I mean, just a few are coming out at a time. That's a good girl. What you got in your paw? Huh? What are you itching? You know? All right, well, Juliet made it back over here, over here by Stevie and Romeo. So we're gonna go try her. We'll see if she likes it. Who knows, she may not even like the brush. Not this one. She likes the regular brush. So we'll go over here. Juliet! Are you ready for a spa day, sis? Huh? Are you ready for a spa day? You don't have a whole, whole lot of hair. Stevie's probably going to be the one that gets it most. Hi, sister. You want to smell it? I'll let you smell it before I do anything. Yeah. 
So you watch. Oh yeah, that feels good. She's got like a red tone to her. Oh yeah, that's getting quite a bit. Oh yeah. How do you like that? Huh? How do you like that? Does that feel good? Good girl. This good girl. Good girl, yeah. This a good girl. This a good girl right there. Get all the extra stuff. Yeah. Yeah, there's quite a bit. I don't know if you can see that. Kind of like Toby. And she's so, so soft. Oh my gosh, she's so soft. Good girl. Oh yeah, you're doing so good. I knew you would do good. You like spa days. It's all right. Shh, shh, shh. It's all right. Yeah. Can I go to the other side of you? Huh? You gonna let me go over here? Good girl. Yeah. Come here. Look at that. <laughs> Good girl. Yeah. Hi. How are you doing? Yeah, that's a good girl. You see, Romeo? She likes it. I'm just trying to clean y'all up. Get you where you're not too, not too hot for the summertime. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah. There you go. Look at that, Romeo. Look at all that hair. That's a good girl. Oh, poop. You can come chase them off. I know how you like to do that. Next time I'll bring that other brush that Juliet likes. Good girl. Get it all off you. Toby. There we go. Get them legs all nice and clean. How you like that? You like that feeling? Hmm? Get out of her tail. <laughs> there you go. You need a good brush and I need to get that bigger brush for you. That's a good girl. Yeah. You wanna turn around here? Oh, Toby. Turn around here. Juliet! Turn around here and say hi. Can you come over here and say hi? Oh, she's like, no, I was going to, but you started brushing me. Good girl. That's getting quite a bit. There you go. Juliet! <laughs> See if we can move in a little bit closer. Oh, now you're going to get closer. That's a good girl. Yeah. You like that feeling? Romeo was getting behind you like I'm running away there you go you be nice Romeo
can I give you a brush? Romeo! All right. He's not going to let me brush him, but let me get over here to Stevie and I'll give her a quick... Would you get out of the way? Give her a quick um, brush and then we'll move on to the rest of the animals. Romeo is like, I am leaving. I know you're coming towards me. I'm not coming towards you. Get out right here without letting Toby out. You better stay. Look, Stevie wants to come in. You stay back, sis. We'll get you in there. Look, I'm going to do the same thing. You can smell it. It's just hair on there. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Can I come to this side? Look. Ooh, that feels so good. You got some curl to your hair. Romeo and Juliet's like straight. Maybe it's just because you need it done a little bit more. That's your hair. You smell your hair? Your fur? Your mane? Look at that. How thick she is. Good girl. You like it, don't you? Wow. It's like every time I brush it, more a lot more comes out. Not just a little. <laughs> You're going to start sneezing. You keep putting that mane or hair on your nose. But she's got this two-tone color to her hopefully i don't scare her off but i'm going to show y'all up a little bit closer you can probably see the two-tone but look how curly that hair is it's like a perm oh i just heard a fish look at that that is beautiful beautiful stevie just beautiful. Can I finish over here? You're all right. You're all right. It's okay. Good girl. You don't like that? What about over here? Good girl. It's not so much at the bottom. It's more this top area. Yeah, the, t the bottom's not as bad. And it's a lot lighter. Lower by her legs. I can feel how hot. You can just feel how hot and thick that is. It reminds me of my hair. I have very, very, very thick hair. I have to have mine thinned out. And the hairstylist a long time ago, I think it was when I when I went to prom was the very first time I actually thinned my hair out maybe it was before then but um they told me that once they thin it out for the first time you're going to always have to go back and get it thinned and I do but just my hair's so thick that it's going to have to even if I didn't I think so I was telling some people yesterday that we have a lot of doctor's appointments this week. Well, Addison went to the ear specialist, the ENT, yesterday. And her hear, ears were good yesterday. But, I mean, like two weeks ago, she was on antibiotics because of an ear infection. But they were good yesterday. So they went ahead and scheduled um, to have tubes put in her ears but they also did a schedule on um, a hearing test. So they want to see that first 
And then they said, if that's all good, they're going to go ahead and cancel um, the appointment to have surgery. And then we're going to kind of look and see again, like, see how long it takes her to have another ear infection. If she has one pretty quick, then um, he said he'll go ahead and do the surgery. But he just wants to check and see one more time. And then Addis, or then Kaysen had a an eye appointment this morning, and it went good. Um, he has some some problems with the muscles in his eyes, so it's not nothing bad. He said it's not bad enough to go and get glasses or anything like that, but they want to do some therapy for to strengthen. Um, to strengthen the muscles in his eyes and but it wasn't bad enough to do anything for it pretty much except maybe some therapy and then if the therapy doesn't work um they do have some prism glasses that we're gonna try so and then Leighton had a dentist appointment Monday or Tuesday so we just been booked up with appointments this week oh don't scare me I, I was going slow I'm sorry you probably just seen my hand up high. I'm so sorry. But anyways, we're going to get back over there to the goats and stuff because I think, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I think that is all the hair we're going to be able to get off her. Quit being so skittish. You're never like this. You look a lot better. Maybe you're like 10 pounds lighter. Good girl. Good girl, yes. She's so pretty. That might be a good spot right there. <laughs> that feel good? Huh? That feel good? <laughs> oh yeah, she really likes that. <laughs> good girl. All right, well, we'll get back over there and start walking around and saying hi to everybody. All right, so we'll get over here with acorn, beautiful cupcake, and red apple. They really need a brushing too, but I will probably do that in a little while. I'm going to just go ahead and walk around, and that hair brushing kind of puts a strain on your back if you stay there too long. Come on. So you can tell um, none of the goats are over here now. So y'all seen where um, oh, one of the stooges, they ended up having a baby. And so they're all back over in this pen. And then um, we had one Billy that was in this pen because he just likes to jump and everything. Well, he got out. So, hi. So now it's just the three donkeys again. Hi, boy. How are you? You don't look like you need um, brushed out as much as red apple over there. You do feel like you need a scratching though. Do you need a scratching? Uh, I'm so glad the sun is out today. Yeah. <laughs> He's really loving that. Good boy. Good boy. Did you like that? Huh? Did you like that? Look at them big old ears. They're so big. Hi, red apple, beautiful cupcake, come here, maybe if I go over to the side over here, hi, come here, nope, how are y'all, are you going to come say hi, you just eating up, hey, there she comes, there she comes, just a walking down the street, singing do a dee 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 dum dee dee doo. 
at your eye. Hi, sister. Hi, sister girl. How are you doing? Yeah? You done? Look at that hair, though. She's, she needs a good brushing. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to do it later on, though, when Brandon's with me. The donkeys are fine. I, I mean, but it's just that I don't get in this pen as much as I do, like, the goats and Romeo and Juliet and stuff. Just because we don't have a gate on it yet. And it's just a hassle just to have to unwire and everything. But we will be getting some gates. Just haven't got them yet. But I do want to get her brushed out before it gets way too hot. Since I'm over here, we got all the hay. And they're not eating near as much hay now that it's not near as cold. But since we're over here... On, come look at this pond it just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger i know while we was at the expo we got so much rain here like there was one day that um Leighton called me and they were headed to practice or they were on their way back from practice or something and it was pouring down rain so it, it's just i'm so grateful that it did not actually rain um in prior while we was at the expo y'all check out my bracelet my best friend bracelet that's from abby over at grounds family farm she gave me a bracelet she gave a few people bracelets so i don't feel as special as i thought i did but no i'm just kidding um their girls are so much fun i think we go there with no kids only because Mainly, it's just time for us to get together by ourselves, just me and Brandon, and just have a little honeymoon, I guess. <laughs> just a little time away just, just for us. But it's also really good for the kids to get time away from each other or away from us. Not a lot of time. Like, this is the only time we actually go anywhere without them so it's really like we're calling each other 24 7 while we're gone but um it's it's really good for them like they were split up between two of them went to nana and papa's two of them went to aunt and uncle's and it's just good because once they get back together they they're all replenished and we're all just happy happy to see each other I don't know if that makes sense. It, I don't want it to sound like we want to leave the kids wherever because that's not how it is. Because before, like any time before we started going to the expo, the only time that we would leave our kids anywhere overnight was when I was having the next kid. So when Layton was, or when Kason, when Addison was born, Layton stayed with someone, either aunt and uncle or um, Nana and Papa. I, I had too many kids since then. I don't know which one stayed with which one. But so each kid, that's when they got to stay and not with other people. And they were really excited. But anyways, I, I just wanted to put that out there that that's not why I say that it's time to get away from the kids. That's not it at all. But we did. We got a lot of rain. And it's just filling this pond up. The only thing bad is that... Yes, it's filling it up, but it will most likely drain again. And we've actually been waiting for it to drain because we want to put... Brandon's got some kind of salt type stuff um, to put on the ground. And then he said with the side by side or a four-wheeler or we may get some kind of a ATV um, and actually just go and drive and drive and drive. He said we're just not ready right now to actually get pigs to do that. So anyways... We will make our way back up here and I want to go check on the chickens before the kiddos get home. We have made it up here to you guys. What do you think, Carly? What do you think, sis? Huh? What do you think? What are you doing? Oh my goodness, you sweet girl. Yes, you sweet girl.
Sometimes I get people talking about how I can't believe you talk to your animals like they're babies. They're animals. They're not babies and whatever. But that's something I'm not going to stop doing because that's how they know. That's a big old truck. That's how they know I love them so much is when I talk to them like they're babies because they are my babies. Jack and Jill. So all of them are over by the hay bale and over by the feeder, so you didn't really get to see them. It's not even hot outside. What are y'all curled up in the hay? Huh? It's not even hot out. Whatever. There's the chocolates. Hey, hey, stop it. I'm going to take everybody's advice and have you for Sunday dinner. You, you little chunky thing, you'd be a good dish. You'd feed all of us. Looks like we got one egg in there right now. Sorry, trying to get in between the bars. Hey, hey, you be nice. You hear me? You be nice. That's not nice behavior. <laughs> My jubilees. Hi. They don't have any eggs yet, but Brandon did um, get them yesterday. So they may not lay till this evening. So these light colored ones are lavenders. Then these three <laughs> are splashes. Y'all are doing so good. Then we got you guys. What are y'all doing over here? Gotta knock those doors off again. Got one sitting, or at least laying. Yeah. And then my favorite. Y'all need to get in those chicken nests. The nesting boxes. Oh, I just noticed y'all don't have a roost in here. I'm surprised you're not up there. It's so fun getting their eggs because they're usually so white. Like I said, Brandon got eggs last night, so they're not in here. But. Hi, beautiful ones. So beautiful. All right. Well. That's all the chickens. So I'm going to go help Brandon with the surprise that everybody's been waiting for on our main channel, Eddie Family Farm. I'm going to go help him finish that up. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up, turn notification bell on, and subscribe. God bless.